Hey everyone, it's Yarag Nehki. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm bringing you a strategy that is crazy strong and unlike other type of lalos, it's actually not too hard to perform. The army I like bringing is four sneakies, baby drag and whiz, usually for funneling the heroes, a wall breaker to get them into the base, 27 loons, three head hunters and three lava hounds. I usually use one of them as a tank for my blimp. I also add 11 minions for cleanup and obviously in the CC you bring the blimp and we have the four super wizards and then you can add either babs, archers or goblins, whatever you prefer. And spells are four freezes, four invisibility spells for that uh, blizzard, although sometimes you can get away with only using three. Depends which where you're coming from and what are you getting. Then you also need three haste, a poison and a rage, the rage also for the blizzard. So let's go to the first attack. So these are all my Legend League hits and we're going first against Apple Fahad. So as you can see here, I'm using the Lava Hound to tank for my Blimp. So the Blimp can get all the way to the center. If you have any of these ring bases facing it in Legends League, this is what you want to do. You want to get your Blimp all the way into the center of the base. You want the Blimp to get rid of the Town Hall with the Super Wizards. Now in some bases it's very interesting because sometimes there will be giant bombs, there will be small bombs, uh, you might misplace the blimp, something like that, and then like if you don't get the town hall 9 times out of 10, then you're just trying to save the 2 star. Um, in terms of saving the 2 star, then obviously you just have to create a nice good funnel, send the main pack of loons that are going to be going towards the center of the base, and then you use the rest of the loons on the side with a few haste just to push the main pack of loons into the center of the base. So that's usually what I do when I'm trying to fix an attack. Over here, obviously, you start doing the hero dive. With the pets, you can get a little bit more um, damage and a few more defenses uh, with the unicorn and the yak and all that kind of stuff. So it's really nice. I usually interchange between the king and the queen in regards to their pets with the unicorn and the yak. Um, the reason why I'm bringing the unicorn with the king and then the yak with the queen is that the queen usually stays alive for a little bit longer, the king is tanking for her. And then when the king goes down, if the yak, if the unicorn is still alive, then the unicorn will transfer to the queen. So then that way you have the queen with a yak and a unicorn. So that's usually why I bring the unicorn with the king as well when I'm doing this dive, but you can just bring the yak with the king and it's still fine. As you can see here, once we got rid of the center of the base and we carved a little um, spot, we can just start the Lalo. And trust me, I'm a horrible Lalo player. If you come into my live streams, you will see that a lot of the time I get lots of fails, but this attack is so strong that anyone can do Lalo now. And all of these bases are very common in Legends League. So then again, here I'm sending the Lava Hound, sending the Blimp. Over here what I wanted is just land there in that compartment, which is going to allow the Blizzard to get rid of the Eagle, get rid of a few of the Expos, get rid of the Multi Inferno, or at least that was the plan. Usually the Wizards decide to just start doing their own thing. So I'm just using all of my Invisibility spells just to make sure that at least one of the Infernos goes down. And then once everything is down, you, you can start thinking, okay, wh where am I going to send my, my heroes? So that's why I really like the Sneaky Goblins. They create a really good funnel for your heroes to walk exactly where you want them to go. Here's the baby dragon. I want him to go to the Dark Elixir storage. But that's all right. He decides to join the heroes. And then they just end up walking around. I can put an archer or a wizard in that Dark Elixir storage just to make sure that the building does go down. I use a couple of loons to get rid of the mortar so that my heroes walk inside where I just uh, wall break. I can use one headhunter here for the king and that way my heroes will keep their health as much as they can and we continue going in. The king now tanking and getting rid of the scatter shot and then on the left hand side I decide to bring my royal champion. Now all of these Sui hero dives that I do, usually on my 30 seconds that I'm watching the base, I just see where should I send my blimp that is going to have the most value. Then obviously um, I have 
some sort of idea of what I want to do with my heroes but whether they're gonna do it or not I'm really not sure so over here obviously I want to get rid of that scattershot and for them to start walking around I thought if they get the town hall it's gonna be a massive plus but uh, I wasn't expecting them to get the town hall however the queen goes through ability targets the town hall thankfully the royal champion triggers a tornado trap and this was perfect for me like I loved it then there's no sweepers around so I just decided to start flying from the 3 o'clock area and again as you can see this is a very new Blalo however usually what I've seen people do and what I'm trying to do but I uh, usually just send all my loons in is just send around like 3 loons per defense as they're moving in and then as they're moving in you want to start putting flanking loons so if you like using hogs it's kind of like the same thing and obviously with a with a wooden ability it really depends if the tank is not down and you're gonna get them with your loons then you want to use the wooden ability obviously when the tank hole goes down with haste so that they get out of the tank hole portion as soon as you can um, obviously if the tank hole is already down then you can use the warden ability whenever the, your loons or your main pack of loons are going through the main splash so scatter shots, multi infernos, all that kind of stuff if you don't have any more freezes over here again I use the lava hand to tank, blimp to get inside the other good thing about the blizzard apart from getting the tank hole whenever it does get there because trust me I've had it a couple of times that it doesn't and then it's an interesting way of recovery but the good thing about it as well is that a lot of the bases they've got the clan castle very close to the town hall so you can also pull it so as you saw in the previous video uh, on the previous attack I didn't use the blizzard for the town hall but on ring bases I almost always I try getting the town hall and almost all the ring bases that are going on at the moment they will have the scatter shots, they will have the eagle, they will have the clan castle they will have all the important stuff in the center of the base so that's pretty much where you want a blizzard and then another thing to have a look at whenever you're doing um, Lalo and um, that's check where the sweepers are so if in your blizzard you have to freeze one of the sweepers just to get to where you want them to go but then the other one is check where the defending archer queen is and where the defending and royal champion is because those are the two that you want to get rid of if you can i uh, usually try getting rid of with uh, against them with my heroes but if i can't that's why i'm bringing the three head hunters right so i sent a couple of head hunters there for my queen another thing that i've learned the tough the, the rough way is um, don't send all of your three or three two head hunters on the same spot at the same time because if one of them triggers that uh, spring trap all three of them will go flying so what i've noticed a lot of pro players and i've started trying to do it and everything is like they just target them or they just put them like in a horizontal line going towards the hero that they want and that way if one of them triggers the, the spring trap the other two are still alive and uh, because if all three of them die then the defending queen doesn't die and then that's good night you're not getting a triple if that defending queen or that defending world champion or both are still alive you won't get it another thing I suggest with this attack as well make a point a mental note um, if the king is still alive because obviously depending on if you still have the queen the defending queen alive or the defending royal champion alive and there's the king on one side you want to come in directly onto the queen or the royal champion as long as there's no sweepers or anything that that is going to be stalling you that's where you want to come in otherwise the headhunters are going to be stuck on the king and probably they're not going to get to the hero that you actually want them to kill over here on this base, very common base as well, I decided to do the blimp here for the eagle and for the northern compartment as you can see it gets so much value with the blizzard over here and almost a quarter of the base gone just from the blimp alone and then um, I decided well the queen, the royal champion, they're all in the southern compartment with the king as well so I'm just gonna put my king, the queen the royal champion and just set headhunters and just kill them and then uh, we can get rid of the lava hand as well this is going to be stalling my my queen for a little bit so that's going to cause my heroes to die pretty much the royal champion and the king 
but the queen is going to be able to go for the town hall which is the only thing that i really wanted i just wanted the town hall to go down and obviously get rid of the defending heroes and then we've got a really nice path to go around the base now the sweepers are still alive and the scatterers are still alive but we still have four freezes three haste and so we can just go around the base nice and quick another thing that uh me as a noob um lalo player always forget is placing the minions as soon as you put your lava hand with the initial group of loons that you want to have put your minions behind and uh, otherwise i time fell time and time and time again because of that because i keep forgetting to put the cleanup you put the cleanup and uh, most times it will be a nice triple now the other reason why i really like this army is because even when it's not a triple and even when it's everything is going completely wrong you can still get over 80 percent two stars so it's a really good attack um, now this base is very similar but i decided to come in from the side since both of the sweepers are facing downwards and uh, i freeze the ad just to make sure that my blimp gets to that compartment where i wanted it to go probably i wanted him i wanted the blimp to go a little bit to the left like in the um, multi infernal compartment but that's okay we can still get rid of the eggs both scar shots and create a nice little bit of passing as you can see the cc has also been pulled out um, a lot of people in legends are still using the super minions probably because they have forgotten to change the cc um, at the moment i would suggest just using either lava hand and ice golems or using three ice golems or myself i use two ice golems and a witch um, that's pretty much the op cc at the moment so you, i have the king and the queen i want them to walk to the left to go and get rid of the town so i can send my headhunter for the defending king i put my royal champion to basically to funnel my king and queen to the left and also for her to start getting rid of some more defenses on this occasion i still have an invisibility spell that i didn't use on my blizzard since i didn't think it was going to be enough value so i use it for the royal champion probably didn't get enough value with her because of that single inferno however now we've got the town hall down the defending queen is down and now the defending royal champion goes down with a few headhunters that i sent there just in, at the end and now we can start with the lalo over here i'm looking okay so the super is pointing south so obviously i'm going to be coming from the top i didn't realize that there was a tesla there so if i had realized just in a couple of loons there for the tesla and that way your, your loons aren't going to be backtracking that's what you don't want them to do you just want them to keep moving forward and basically you send a main group of loons and then a side group of loons i usually like hasting them just to make sure that the main group of loons remain in the center of the base over here as they're going towards the multi inferno i decide to use the warning ability just to save them for a little bit longer and then i still had a couple of freezes so i just start freezing the multi and uh scatter shot and they're all gonna go down and this is pretty much an overkill the tornado trap goes so red bombs come out but it really doesn't matter this is gonna be a triple and uh i didn't forget to do cleanup so we didn't end up time failing well that's the army if a noob like me can triple with lalo i'm pretty sure that you guys can it's actually very nice and easy you just use the blizzard to get some value use the heroes to get rid of one of the corners hopefully killing one of the defending uh, heroes and then you just start sending your lalo if the town hall is centralized you just have to blizzard the town hall so if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time with more clash see ya